Scientists have been on alert after a recent spike in earthquakes at the volcano's summit. Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. Pretty pictures. If you're there, you're... Uh Hope mm -hmm. it's just pretty for a while and then stops. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And I was looking up, there are 169 active volcanoes in the United States, but it just is so rare for them to go off. You know, especially even if you're visiting yeah. oh, anywhere around Hawaii, you're checking out the mountains around the West Coast, you don't think that there's the potential for those to go off because it is such a rare site. Yeah. And it's even something that we were able to capture from space. So by that, I mean our satellite imagery has been able to capture the moment that volcano erupted. So I want to rewind the clock to between four and seven o'clock in the morning for our time. So it was right around that five o'clock in the morning, Eastern Coast time. You'll see as this resets that you see that big blob of color. That's actually the moment that the volcano erupted. It shot that ash so high up that our infrared satellites were able to pick that up. And by now you've probably even seen in circulation different heat sensors that pinpoint the moment that happened. That also just goes to show you the size that the impact of that eruption can have as well. Meanwhile, here in central Ohio, we've actually had a weak area of high pressure. And what that's been doing as it's been building into the south is helping to dry things out. You'll notice that little band of green, though, stretching from Cincinnati up toward Cleveland. Those have been just a few light spotty showers. And most you probably notice if you stepped outside it's been a light mist or drizzle alongside that overcast sky and the next system well there it is building its way in toward the west this is going to be a system that starts to impact us here in central ohio by tomorrow night into wednesday and here are those clouds we were talking about with the mr rooter plumbing tower camera and you can tell there's almost a little bit of that mist or drizzle as well because it's knocking down the visibility of the city's skyline and as far as temperatures go Pretty much all day long we've been sitting in those lower 40s right now 43 degrees here in Columbus and you'll notice almost every hour or two we're going down a degree so it's going to be a very slow steady climb and thanks to that light breeze we at least won't have to deal with much in the way of a wind chill either and at least it's been a primarily dry but kind of gray and cloudy start to the week a breeze is going to pick up tomorrow as that next system approaches since it's a southerly wind we're talking about it'll boost our temperatures but it will be ahead of that next chance for rain showers and since it's a cold front we're talking about, it's also going to be knocking down our temperatures by Thursday. You notice with the big picture view, as high pressure starts to slide its way off to the east, by tomorrow afternoon we'll kick in more of a breeze and even break up the clouds a little bit. So by noon on your Tuesday, kicking in more of that southerly breeze, wind speeds at times could be close to 10 to 20 miles per hour, especially later in the evening as that front approaches, which we'll be able to make it through today and tomorrow's evening drive nice and dry. Notice it won't be until about 10 o'clock at night tomorrow that we start to kick in the chance for showers. That cold front is going to be sliding through during Wednesday's morning commute. And take a look at this as we approach noon on Wednesday. That'll be when the front moves through, bringing in colder but drier air and will actually result in falling temperatures during the day. Now temperatures tonight, slow, steady climb by first thing tomorrow morning. We'll actually be in the upper 30s. Keep around that nice light breeze as well. Wind speeds will continue to pick up as we head through tomorrow afternoon and evening. But like we were talking about, the southerly flow, it's going to boost our temperatures back up into the mid 50s. During the day on Wednesday, it's going to be during the morning hours that we're going to be in the 50s. By noon on Wednesday, once that front moves through, I think we'll be down about 10 degrees, so in the mid 40s. So you may want to grab an extra warm layer because we'll be falling down into the 30s by about 6 o'clock. And then by Thursday morning, in comes that cold air where we'll wake up in the 20s. 